All right, welcome back to Jimmy and the Pulsating Mess. All right, let's start the leg dungeon. <laughs> For as weird as that sounds. Okay, already I'm- oh, okay, I gotta see what the enemies are. Already I'm gonna guess that this pu this dungeon, like, puzzle gimmick has to do with, like, these tablets and placing them in the right spots. What do we got? Still more shapes, okay. Also, if we're gonna be fighting shapes, I should probably swap to Goon. Yeah, because you can just delete them. I gotta say, I like this quite a bit. Like, so this is a pretty gray-looking dungeon so far, but these, like, just random shapes thrown about give it some nice splashes of color that I like quite a bit. Okay, this is technically a new enemy that I did see in the Dark Dungeon. The Concentric Burdens. How this enemy works... Oh my god, those are all 100% now because of that luck boost I have. How this enemy works is, okay, so what those weird, like, versions of him around himself are, are those are, like, shields. And every time you hit them, um, it only does one damage, but it makes one of them go away. When they're all gone, you can, you can attack them normally. Yeah, so basically don't use your heavy hits on him to start. Pretty basic enemy. Oh, oh, you leveled up. 26. You know, I should get Comforting Smile. I'll try to end bo or end fights with the flower if I can. This is fine. Okay, so I had a feeling the gimmick of this area was gonna have us going between the two legs. Third eye. Lowers the- oh god, I can like really make him a magic glass cannon. I'm gonna go for it. Also, do I have not have any other manuals? I guess I don't. I'm just gonna get Flower to level up and then go back to Goon. Uh, 
Yeah, I keep attacking. I can deal with this. This enemy is a pain in the ass, though. Like, when they start to get, like, five sides, they start to become a big issue. There we go. I want to make sure I got everything on this side, though. Huh. Okay, I guess this is one way. Is there anything on this side? No. Okay. Toothfish reflects physical, or reflects magical. Yeah, we can all just attack. Here we go. I feel like I use comforting smile more than high five, so we'll we'll make that the one we have permanently. And I still like just having a group hit. Okay. Um What's the when do you learn your next skill? 40. Okay, that's quite a while. Though that's the one that increases imagination points, so that's probably just good to have by default. What does Flighty do again? Extra speed. Sharp Claws I kinda want. We're really close to getting it too. Let's play as Bear for a little bit. That's gonna break. No. Ah, okay. Oh, there's the light bulb. Actually, how many chests are in this area? Six of them.
I use Thermal Bomb a lot off-screen during the Dark Dungeon. It is a really strong group hit. Okay, 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 I gotta think this one through. Um, physical, magical, physical, magical. That, that's the two biggest threats. Now we can just wail on this guy. Handbook. That's pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, like, the stealing can get annoying sometimes, but it's not annoying to a point at which I really think I need something like that. turn into. I don't know why. You're pretty close to leveling up again. That must- yeah, that's- that's the stage theme. Okay, this is a fine encounter. Good! Okay, okay. Imagination. Yes! Oh my god, that's awesome. And I think having more luck, um... Actually, I don't have, I don't have, um, Grift in, in Jimmy's normal moveset yet, so I think, I don't think, I think Poison and Sleep Immunity are probably going to be better. Oh, now should, now what should I level up? I think I'm just gonna swap to Goon for now, cause like, I always want to get to Grift uh, quicker. What does this do again? Double money, okay. I feel like I'm supposed to have this, uh, this character for this area, too.
Oh, that was it? I was expecting that to be like twice the length or something. <laughs> so that's how you get back down. Oh wow, okay. Was there more of that area? Like, what was to the north of it? Oh, I guess that is... Okay, here we are. I mean, it'll take a while, I guess, we're gonna get our airship, because, like... I don't know, like, it feels climactic to get it at the top of this area. <laughs> oh. This is it, Jimmy. The world's library. Every book ever written is here. Hmm. Looks a lot bigger from the outside. Honey, there's a dead librarian right behind you. Oh? So there is. I suppose I was distracted by all the possibilities. I know you get excited about learning new things, but I'm, I'm starting to feel nervous. Maybe this isn't an appropriate place to take our son. <laughs> I know it's dangerous, but what other choice do we have? We have to do what's best for Jimmy. What's best for everyone. Hmm. We should spread out and look. The secret knowledge should be around here somewhere. Well, I guess you don't have to worry about being charged for overdue books. What do you think? Not funny? I wanted to say it earlier, um, earlier, but I don't think your dad would have laughed. I'm going to look for something to poke the librarian with. Another scroll. The Journey of a Nameless Monk, Chapter 8. While I made it, it's a library. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. The world's library made it seem like it would be bigger, grander. I guess in the end, a library is a library. And everyone knows a library is just a boring vacation home for nerds. <laughs> if someone goes in a library and gets excited, then you know they're a nerd. I do like going to libraries, though. <laughs> it's like... Me? No way. Guess I can be, um... I can cross being a nerd off my list. Looks like I figured out something about myself here, so it's not a total waste. I tried to ask the librarian if there was a secret room with all the good stuff, but it turns out she's dead. <laughs> all in all, this trip was kind of a bummer. I'm going to poke around a little longer anyway, just in case. 
I've had a lot of thoughts running through my head right now, so I guess poetry is the best way to sort things out. This is for me, not you. Anyway, here we go. The sun melts and slips through the finger-like mountains by Journey and Soon. I'm still getting a bad feeling about this place, but while we're here, how about I read you a story? These books are so dusty, we only have time for one. What would you like me to read? Is this going to give me something? 20th Century Combat Tactics, Advanced Chemistry, How to Count Cards. I'm thinking this might give our characters a new move or something. Advanced Chemistry sounds like, uh, Andrew, and Andrew already has a lot of strong stuff. How to count cards. Look, there's a picture of the author. He's wearing a cowboy hat. How fun. Oh! Oh, okay, that just increases stat by one, whatever. I'm starting to think that this, uh, sweet S Stevie Bronco character is just a big fat cheater. This isn't the kind of book, uh, the, of kind of book children should read. No, sir. I'm looking everywhere, Jeremy, but I haven't seen anything too promising yet. That said, I do find myself getting distracted. There are an immense amount of books I haven't read here. Like this one. Have you heard about the Phoenix? It's nothing, it's nothing much. A fantasy, really. I normally don't find this sort of thing interesting, but according to legend, there was a mystical creature that was immune to the, from the inevitability of death. This was the Phoenix. Whichever the phoenix was close to death, whenever the phoenix was close to death, it combusted into a pro prophophony of flames and was born anew from the ashes. Quite the evolutionary adaptation. It makes me wonder what ha um, what's happening at the manicular level. Do the cells regenerate ultra-fast? How much DNA needs to survive to begin a renewal process? What, um, what biological process generates the requisite heat? Something from the bi- um, Bef Jesus Christ, Andrew. <laughs> I should calm down. This is why I try to avoid reading fiction. Are we gonna fight a phoenix as the boss? Four. Four chests here. That skull kind of catches my attention. Hold on. No. Oh? Oh. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I would call that cool. I see. The secret knowledge must rest further in the library. Be careful, Jimmy. Who knows what else we'll find down there. This is my library. Each book is my child. Long ago, a fearsome winged beast took one of my children. 
Will you return him for, to me? Do we have a book in our inventory? What is that in the center? Bookworm. I can steal your knowledge. Well, okay, one enemy at a time, please. Like, or, uh, you know, okay, steal knowledge, see what that does. Then I want to destroy this thing as quickly as possible. Mortimer pays Max 17 cents a day to let him climb on the back in order to become a turtle stack. Mortimer just likes to look tall, and Mac, well, let's face it, Mac needs the money. So did that like, make it so you can only read? No, you still very much attack. That is not an attack I expected you to have, too. The heck? Fossil record boring lecture. Oh, is this gonna one-shot you like it did that other bone enemy? Oh no, it was a, uh, it was um, it was like a home item, or it was a furniture item. Yeah, figures you have high attack. Um. I got that on my first try, too. Not bad. Oh! Come for a good read? There isn't a better place. All the world's knowledge rests here. It's my favorite place to visit. I hate to leave, but it's been ages, and I can't keep eight waiting forever. I'll just have to sa um, satiate myself with the knowledge I've learned thus far and daydream of coming back. So can we go back to, like, that- the, the area with the other numbers and go in that place now? Who are you? Mr. Darcy? I can steal your tea. This is probably a reference to, like, an old book. I j I'm not, like, really a book guy, to be perfectly honest, but... <laughs> I have been reading more recently, though, at, like, work. Oh, I, I just steal your tea. Okay. An MP refill. That's good. <laughs> There's a little library in my neighborhood that I like, you know, depositing books into and, like, just taking stuff out to look at. And I, I, I literally just pick something random from it. It was called, like, Red Alert. And it's, like, the most generic cop thriller I've ever read, but, like, what else am I gonna do at work? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of downtime at work, so I do like to... I've never really, like, read stuff, you know? Outside of, like, stuff I'm assigned for school. Pop fiction. Okay, I think we need to... I want to explore classics a little more first.
self-help. True positivity rests at the end of a rainbow. I've hidden my gift to the world to only those who have witnessed the true power of positivity. Uh-huh. Eight turns sh should suffice. No clue what that could possibly mean. I gotta say, I really like the look of this area. Ah, uh, it's a Y. Um, you could be anything. Oh, okay, speaking of being anything, I looked up the gimmick of imaginary number off screen. It, it doesn't like swap between, like, reflecting physical and magic damage, what's actually going on is that enemy just has a flat 30% chance to, to counter anything. <laughs> so that's kind of wild. Colorful lamp. I'm gonna focus on the bookworm first, because I hate fighting this enemy. Nope. Okay, you swap between! Um, oh god, which one was the red one again? Okay, I get this enemy's gimmick, I think. There we go. Oh, yikes. One of those fish was red, and one of those fish was blue. I'm gonna assume it's going to reflect whatever the fish, like, that it's the current color of reflected. I kind of forgot which is which, though. I, I more paid attention to their shapes and their colors. Okay, blue means I can physically attack it, which means red means I probably want to use magic. That's a creative enemy. Like, it kind of requires mastery of, like, an enemy you fought earlier in the game. Or, like, a, a couple enemies. Biography. Uh, hmm. My soul resonates with the artifact. I'll reveal myself only uh, to he who wields it. I feel like we're gonna have to come back here later with like different items and stuff. Who is that? Sneaky Lincoln! <laughs> what? Oh, don't show me your sneaky Lincoln. Oh! Wait, is Sneaky Lincoln one of those enemies that, like, runs away from you? Uh, someone's gonna take some damage. 
No, okay. God, that move is coming is becoming strong. You leveled up again. I wonder if I'd sneak you Lincoln again. I just want to see if you can like grift anything off of it. Uh no. I, what am I thinking? Jimmy has a move that just runs from battles. Okay, that's supposed to be, like, a rare enemy or something. I'm gonna look up what this does. Sneaky... Lincoln. Okay, what's the deal here? Sneaky Lincoln is an enemy encountered in the biography section of the world's library. He is like Abraham Lincoln, except much sneakier. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jimmy and the Pulsating Mass Wiki. <laughs> he is hard to keep battle for long, but his griftable items are very worthwhile. I see. You can get a shitload of gold off of him, or you can get a special item. You know, hold on. That item has a very low chance, though, so what I'm gonna do, we're gonna put this on. I'm gonna get this. So the artifact this book was just talking about, apparently... Oh, thank you, Panda Dome, get out of here. Yeah, it has a low chance, but with the boost I just gave myself, it's now up to about 50%. Or you can get a thousand dollars off of him. What a sneaky Lincoln. Everyone else just guard. I'm curious- okay, does Grift have- Oh, okay, okay, this might be an issue. Sneaky Lincoln is probably very fast. Do I have a way to boost my speed right now? The bird has a speed boosting move. I don't have it quite yet. I'm gonna get it soon. My interest is peaked here though. I don't think I can get this right now because I'm just not fast enough to outspeed Sneaky Lincoln. But like, I that is definitely something I'm gonna come back for later, probably. I, I bet that's how you get the light bulb in this area. Those are typically like kind of hidden. Variable fish. Okay, blue means I can hit it physically. Oh, we're going up top the area now. Periodicals? Huh. This is a new area. Let's go back the other way real quick. Oh, okay, I was right to do that. Infinity Mirror.
What the heck? Roman Spires. <laughs> I love the enemies in this area. What is this? And it's still a coffin. I don't want to blast- this enemy feels like it's- it'd be like very physically weak, so I don't want to blast him with damage quite yet. Oh my god. Mind- okay, that's confusion. Oh, don't play this game, please. There we go. Given what we know about our own vampire, I was expecting this monster to be, like, very weak to physical and, like, strong against magic, but, like, that was not doing that much damage. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll come back in a second for you. Okay, yeah, right choice to do that. That's- that's great. Wow, I got like 40% interest, like, just in one episode. We'll do one more battle in case there are any unique enemies to this room. Doesn't really seem like it. I got into two and I haven't seen a single one. Okay, let's see what Punch Tanaka wants. Seems to be breathing. It looks like he got beaten up pretty badly and managed to drag himself over here before passing out. We're about to fight a boss, aren't we? Oh yeah, this looks like a boss arena. Ooh. Lingering Eye. Startled. Uh, what? Not quite sure if I get the gimmick yet. You know, I- okay, I bet we have to, like, not kill them. Or I bet we have to, like, kill them one at- er, in the same turn. Um, I five. I don't think taunt strats are going to be that good here. Would this make it so they would only target me with mind control as well? I gotta get toxic on the other one. Okay, maybe taunt strats are a good are a good choice for this fight. So your gimmick is you try to mind control my whole party. Okay.
Wait, wait, wait. Confused enemies only target him too? That is interesting. Okay, actually, I think this is working out pretty well. I want you to use Rampage since you have that on you. You can use Ant Analog. That was worth it. That's fine, you're mind controlled anyway. I feel like the fight is gonna really start once I kill one of these. That might kill. Oh, okay. You seem to have more defense when closed. Right, you can die to slip damage. Okay, okay, so is this gonna be super easy now, or has the fight just started, basically? Undulate again, just in case. Huh, not quite sure if I get the gimmick of that fight, to be perfectly honest. This is it, Jimmy. The secret knowledge. Inside, we might find a way to finally destroy the pulsating mass. Jimmy tries his best to read, but the words keep warm, uh, warming around on the page. Fuck? Oh my. Wait, he's got, like, an exposed brain on his back. What are you reading that book for? You're some kind of nerd now? Think some dumb book's gonna help you? A book's not gonna make you stronger. Look at you. So weak. I can pick you up with one arm. A cool and mysterious voice. Hold it right there! Punch Tanaka! Let me tell you three thi uh, things about Punch Tanaka. One, Punch Tanaka doesn't remember how he got here. All he remembers is a long fall and an even longer dream. What did he dream about? Fighting, inner turmoil, the soul of a man. And you know what? The kid was there, sometimes, and he was fine by me. Two, I really hate the pulsating mass. <laughs> hate it deep. And you, Muscles, you've got its smell all over you. How can I tell? Used to work for it. I'm not proud of it, but I did. Now life's given me a second chance. Life's weird like that. Hold on. I'm feeling some words coming up. Air in a clown wig, forced to ride a tiny bike, but he's still a bear. <laughs> Where did that come from? What does it mean? I can't say for sure. Things are a little foggy right now. I'm feeling a little lightheaded, and if I'm being honest, I kind of just got on going on instinct. <laughs> but I know that kid's in danger, and I know the book's important. Which brings me to number three. My mom always told me there is one thing that makes everyone special. One thing they can um, they can each do that's better than everyone else. I've never known what that uh, that is for me. I always thought it had to do with my perfect hair, but when I jumped off the bridge, down into the deep, never-ending darkness, I learned what it was that Punch Tanaka can do better than anyone else. 
That one thing that makes him extra special. Falling from really high places. He took the book. I was gonna say he stole the book, but I think he's on our side now. No, you imbecile. If the secret knowledge falls into the ocean, it will doom us all. Fuck, you seem to have turned into some kind of horrible monster. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> no, Cinnamon Bun. Not after I just found you again. Why does everyone care about that stupid book? I'll pound your uh, your face in some other time. What? Uh, Jimbo, you know me. I'm not a brave man. I'm not a very strong man either. Not really capable of anything, really. But Helga is my only sister. Whether you're about to do something scary, the best thing to do is to imagine a relaxing place. If you think about it really hard, you can live in a place like that. Then no matter what your life is, no matter who pushes you around, you can be happy there. Me? I'm going to imagine a nice warm beach. A vacation would be really nice right about now. Bye. <laughs> I see. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, I hate to break the tension, but that's not a very well-drawn hand. I know hands are hard to draw, but like... <laughs> it turns out Jimmy's hand was the pulsating mass all along. That's a well-drawn hand! That was a well-animated hand, too. Oh my god. Oh, you're finally up. Well, this is pretty. So I guess things got pretty stressful there. I kind of thought because I weigh so much, I'd be able to fast fall to fall fast <laughs> enough to catch Helga. I guess falling doesn't work like that. Come to think of it, she jumped uh, way before me. I guess it was a bad plan after all. I couldn't find your brother or your dad either. Or that guy with the weird hair. There's no way around it. We failed pretty hard. That's okay, though. I'm used to this kind of thing. There's no need to worry about everyone. We both survived, so, so that's probably fine, too. Hmm. Before I found you, I walked up and down the beach for hours. I asked some other people if they'd see you, but no one had. So there's other people here. Once I thought I saw you, but it was just a dolphin. I guess it was pretty majestic. Then a crab pinched me. I was really tired, but I thought I might not see anyone again. And that made me keep looking. Let's take a day off, Jimmy. Just you and me. This is pretty fun, huh, Jimbo? <laughs> How did you make it go diagonally? <laughs> that's the that's the no, first thing that crossed my mind. I'm trying to figure out how to do that with my game right now. Like, I have an NPC I need to move diagonally, but, like, I can't figure out how to make it work. But I know it's possible with a movement plug and I have installed. I just gotta figure it out. It's good to just hang out again. Jimmy kind of sucks at this game. That one almost made it to me. You've got used to... Uh, you've got to use your wrist more. Here, watch. Let's just yeet it, like, off-screen. Oh. Bonk. Forgive me, uh, madame. Guess I don't know my own strength. Must be all those athletics I do. Um, okay. I was just tossing the old-school discaroo with my favorite nephew. Wanna join us? Uh... I could have gone better. Hey, 
Hey, Jimmy. Are you embarrassed by me? It's okay if you are. I think a lot about what would happen if your dad kicked me out. I don't know why he hasn't yet. I'm lazy and pathetic. Most people are grossed out by me. I try not to think about it, but I do. It's hard to find people in this world that care about you. You're lucky because you have a mom and dad who are still very- who are still alive that care for you very much. I wish I could find someone who could love me as much as I love them, but nobody wants anything to do with me. I don't blame them. If only I could get a nice Asian girlfriend. Asian girls are perfect, Jimmy. They're cute and smart and like video games. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I had an Asian girlfriend, she would be nice to me. Uh, she would think I was uh, funny and love me for who I am. We could watch anime together and start a family. That would be the most fun, I think. Well, I guess our day is almost over. Thanks for hanging out with me. Tomorrow we'll find Helga. Yeah, can we find the rest of our family, please? I just know it. Maybe we'll find Buck, too. And your dad, I guess. Andrew and Helga's equipment has been removed. That's not a good sign. Where are we now? Oh, we have a lot of money, too. We only have two party members, so it's probably not a good idea to go, like, grind. Megatropolis. Still don't have any complete sets. Bonita Vista. Okay. I think we'll leave it off here. Thanks for watching.